Hi, Josaya. Hi, Chris. Good morning, everyone. Don't forget to put your grade number or um, or your uh, if you're in youth, make sure you write a Y or type a Y in front of your name. Type Y be fun to do all. Hi, Joe. Josephine, make sure you put a Y in front of your name. Your name. Yeah. Caroline. <laughs> David, don't forget to put a Y in front of your name. Thank you. Hi, Christine. Thank you, David. Oh, you guys are so good at this. <laughs> Hello, Dalton. Hi, Dalton. Hello, Dalton. Oh, Christmas. <laughs> Stay on Christmas music, love. <laughs> Sorry. No, that's okay. No, that's okay. No, I just turned my head to the TV. The TV is open. It's just Christmas. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Ah, we're going to start at ten. Have one minute. We're going to start. We're going to start our today's Christmas dinner. Today we're going to have a feast. You all have to prepare a feast in your hands. Please prepare a feast in your hands. If you have, if you are baptized already, make sure you have your communion with you. We're going to do communion a little later. Dear Lord, thank you for having us have peace like a river, love like an ocean, and joy like a fountain. Please help us spread your peace, your love, and your joy to everybody in this whole world, whether it is our friends or our enemies, whether they are American or Asian. Please let everybody know who you are and praise you. In your name we pray, amen. 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 I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got love like an ocean.
please help us ask everyone in this whole world, do you know you? Do you know who is Jesus? So that they can worship you and they can honor you. Please help us when we're taking in your word to have a listening heart and concentrate upon your word that we may know what you want us to do and we can act it out. In your name we pray, amen. Christ Jesus. Any JJ wants to congratulate you for this will be the best decision that you have ever made in your life. I pray that you keep increasing in wisdom and statue and in favor with God and man. We have now entered the last month of 2020 and most importantly it's almost Christmas! On December 20th, we will be having a performance called The Birth of Jesus and we sincerely welcome everyone to come and watch. Don't forget to invite your family and friends. Two more weeks until the memory verse ends. Let's all keep up our hard work and fight until the very end. And I'll see you next week. Gotta go memorize the verse now. Psalms 118.1 Give thanks to the Lord for He is good. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord for He is good. His love endures forever. Psalms 118 verse 10 Psalm 118 verse 1 Give thanks to the Lord for He is good. His love endures forever. Thank the Lord for He is good. good. His love endures forever. Psalms 118 verse 1 Give thanks to the Lord for He is good. His love endures Psalms 118 verse 1 Give thanks to the Lord for He is good. His love endures forever. Psalms chapter 118 verse 1 Give thanks to the Lord for He is good. His love endures forever. Psalms 118, 118 verse 1 Psalms 118 verses 1 Give thanks to the Lord for he is good, his love endures forever. Salmo 118, verso 1. Hablad a Jehová, porque él es bueno, porque siempre es su misericordia. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. And his mm -hmm. love endures forever. Psalms 118 verse 1. Psalms 118 1. Give thanks to the Lord for He is good. His love endures forever. 118 1. Give thanks to the Lord for He is good love and endures forever. Psalm 118 verse 1 Give thanks to the Lord for He is good. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord for He is good. His love introduced Forever. Psalm one one eight verses one. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. Psalm one hundred eighty one. Ah, one my name is Aaron Liu. Gave thanks to the Lord. He is good. He love for Inter forever. Psalm chapter 180 verse 1. Bye bye. Give thanks to the Lord for His good and love. Enter forever. Psalm 181. 
塞克斯特的啦，我们要冲洗，然后哇。是不是越来越多的小朋友加入进来了？我们看，我们小朋友好有创意的，有的小朋友是一个人用双语来背圣经，哇！那我没看到 Aaron 呢。哦，是吗？我们回头我回去再看一看，让你的妈妈把它重播一下。我也特别高兴，上周有一个 u s 的小朋友是自己发给我的，可能他的妈妈爸爸很忙，他就自己把他录的视频发给我。非常非常的棒，你们真是太棒了！我看我们小朋友还有正装出席来背圣经的，加油！我们还有两周就背完了十周的圣经了，让我们一起加油！我们一定要完成目标，好吗？啊，小米老师，我们本周的经文是什么呢 ？OK， we have our memory verse for the week， and we are almost to our tenth week， so 你们还没有呃还没有机会背的 ，again， it's okay。Just continue to try to memorize it. 然后要把让爸爸妈妈 send it to、um, church, okay? 所以我们这个礼拜的 memory verse 呢是什么？是 from Philippians. It's Philippians four six. 然后呢 ，Let me tell you what it is first. Okay, it's right here. It says, "Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything." Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. It's from Philippians four six. It says, "Don't worry, just be out there saying, 'Don't, don't be afraid, okay, and don't worry.' You know how when we are、uh, worried about things, the 怎么办这个没有做好怎么办没有写这个怎么办 It's okay. I mean, it's not okay, but don't worry, okay. But when we worry, we give, we pray to God, okay. So it says, 'Don't worry about anything. Instead.'" Pray about everything. Tell, and when you pray, you are talking to who? Talking to God, right? So it says, "Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done." Okay, so Miss Michelle is going to read it one more time. Okay, so Miss Michelle, 再念一次，然后大家可以的话就一起跟着念。Okay, it says, "Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything." Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. And this is from where Philippians four six. Okay. 然后小鹿阿姨，我们还有一首呃、uh, worship 可以一起来唱，对不对 ？This is gonna help you remember this verse. Okay. You're watching Life Three Kids. So, okay, this is not a very hard verse. Okay, it says, "Don't worry about what." 
anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he what has done for you. Okay, so has done. Philippians 4, 6. Now, 记得背哦。好，今天是我们的圣餐礼拜。考你老师，带着我们一起圣餐吧。Okay, everyone. So this is the Sunday that we take communion. Every first Sunday of the、uh, month, we're going to take communion. I don't know if you have your communion ready. If you don't, make sure that you ask your parents. You know, you want to get your Your bread and your cup, you know, ready so we can do this together. Okay, so、um, let's remember. So the reason why we do this is that we remember Jesus died on the cross for us. It's really important that we remember that all the time, especially on this first Sunday that we do this as a whole church. Some places, you know, some churches they do this every week. And some people even do this every day. It's to remind us what Jesus has done for us. Okay. So what we're gonna do is right now. I like you to bow your head, and I like you to just think, what did I do? Hmm. That may cause Jesus to think, ah,、oh, you know what? That's not very good. Jesus could be not happy about something that we did. So I want you to bow your head. You know, pray to Jesus. Say, Jesus, I am sorry for something, something that I did. Okay. So we're gonna spend a little bit of time. Everybody's gonna think. Everybody's gonna tell Jesus what you did, and you're gonna say sorry. You're gonna say, I don't want to do it again. Please help me. Okay. Let's just say. Dear Jesus, I am so sorry for. I pray that you help me to not do this again. Help me to remember everything that I do. That I do it for you. Because you love me so much, please help me to remember to be someone that obeys my parents, listen to my teachers, and follow your command. Mia, thank you, Jesus. Mia. I pray that you help me. I pray this in Jesus' name, and everybody says, "Amen." Amen.、Okay. All right. So, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this cup, okay? This cup,、um, and on the Day that、uh, before Jesus died, okay, before Jesus died, he had a, this this meal, this this dinner with his disciples. I mean, his students. He had this dinner with the students, and in the dinner, what he did is that he、um, took some bread, okay, and then he broke the bread, and he told his students that this is like my body; it's broken for you. So that when you do this, when you eat bread next time, when you eat bread together, you remember me. Remember what I did on the cross for you. Okay, so we're gonna take this, the top part of the cup. You're gonna have to tear it open very carefully. We're gonna take this and we're gonna remember. Remember, this is the body of Jesus that He died on the cross for our sins. So we're gonna take this right now. Okay, and at the same time, when he、um, at the same dinner, he also had a cup of wine, and he told his disciple, "This is like my the blood that I'm gonna shed on the cross. I that my blood is gonna shed and shed and shed. The blood can wash our sins away, right? So he also said." 
when you next time when you drink this when you drink either grape juice or you drink wine and when you remember me you know you are going to do this to remember me all right so you're gonna open the top of the cup this little cup and then we're gonna drink it when you drink it i want you to think about you know put this scene in your head jesus died on the cross for you because he loves you so much okay so let's drink this to remember jesus died on the cross for me very good okay so let's say a word of prayer dear jesus we thank you so much for dying on the cross for my sins please help me that I would always, always remember to do the things that makes you happy. Please help me because sometimes I cannot help myself, but I know that um, you're, the, you're the best friend that I have. And I know that I can come to you and tell you all my problems and all, my, all the difficulties I have. I pray that you help me, that I can... Um, always remember to listen to you and to follow your command. Thank you for dying on the cross. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Good job. Amen. Okay. All right. So we are going to separate into our groups and you're going to go to your teachers. We're going to listen to today's message. Okay. Okay, Peter and Cole. Joyce and Enoch. Huh? Okay, let me see. I have Jedediah, Christine, Rebecca. Let's see. Stephen and Dora. Let me see. I have Chris. I have Abby, Elaine and Jacob. I have Zachary. I have Chris and Sean. Sherry. Let's see. Who else is here? Davina. David's here. Dana. I have Aiden. I have Carlos. Hi, Carlos. Hi, yo. And I hope Enoch and Joyce can go back to their uh, <laughs> their youth very soon. So Joyce, make sure you write a Y in front of your name. I see Ellie, I have Emma, and then Jeremiah, Mary, Jedediah, and Ivan is not there right now. But anyways, oh, <laughs> there he is. Okay, so boys and girls, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what? What you need, what you need, not what you want. Okay, sometimes I say, oh, I really want that big, big what? Big what? Lego set? <laughs> oh, please, I really want it. I really need it. Okay, but God knows what you need, okay? So we need to give thanks to God. Now, you know, sometimes when we listen to music, okay, sometimes when we listen to music, we... Um, Sometimes we use what? The CD player, right? Well, we also use the No. No. Okay. Boys and girls, you have to remember, don't unmute yourself, okay? Don't unmute yourself unless Miss Michelle asks you to, okay? Okay. Anyways, sometimes we use CD player. Uh, sometimes when you're in the car, mommy puts the CD or the radio on. So Miss Michelle has um, these. These are earphones, okay? And then it helps me listen to music. Like if I plug it into my phone, where's the stream? Oh, oh here, here it is, the wire. Okay, when I plug it into my phone, okay, and then I can listen to the, my, my songs, okay? And then hopefully I can hear it really, really, really clearly, okay? So I'm gonna try because I'm gonna try to hear the, I'm gonna play the song again, the Don't Worry So. Okay, let me see. Oh, oh, okay, let me put it on. Miss <clears throat> uh, Michelle. Miss Michelle. Oh my goodness. Kiss, Miss Michelle can hear us. Let's see. Uh, let's all turn on your mic and see if we can call Miss Michelle so she can hear us. Miss Michelle, oh no, I don't think she's listening. I don't think she hears us. Let's wave, let's all wave at Miss Michelle. Miss Michelle! Oh, wow. 
What are you guys doing? 你们为什么要跟我挥手？我看看。Oh hi! Oh wait. Annie 姐姐，你你们 ，What are you guys doing? Oh. 你刚刚都听不到我们说声音。Oh. Oh. 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 Oh.
he didn't realize that she was praying in her heart. Eli thought she must be doing something wrong. No, Master. I am a woman who is deeply troubled. I was telling the Lord about all the problems and sadness in my heart. Ah, well, may the God of Israel give you what you asked of him. Hearing this, Hannah was not sad anymore. And very soon, Hannah's prayer was answered. She had a baby boy and named him Samuel, which means God heard. Hannah and Elkanah were very happy. Several years passed, and young Samuel was growing up. But Hannah never forgot her promise to the Lord. So she traveled with Samuel to see Eli the priest. My master, I am the same woman who stood near you praying for a child many years ago. The Lord has given me a son, and now I give him back to the Lord. He will belong to the Lord all his life. So Samuel went to live in the temple. And every year, Hannah made her son a new coat because of her great love for little Samuel. Did you guess it right? Say Taidoila. Did you guess? Yeah, somebody said, oh, I did. Okay, very good. Because a lot of times when we talk, oh, wait, 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 wait Miss Michelle. The place you have to be. <laughs> Turn it off. Okay. A lot of times when we talk about prayer, we talk about Hannah's story because it's a very good example of someone who prays to God earnestly. That means Hannah didn't just say, uh, dear God, uh, can you give me a baby? Right? Did he say that? I mean, did she? Sorry. Did, no, she didn't. She, she prayed. She was so, she really wanted a baby, not just because she wanted a baby, but she knows that, you know, if God gives it to her, she will be able to what? She said, what? If I get, if you do give me a baby, I want to give him back to you, right? Back to God. So he, she, when she went to the temple, with her husband, she was <laughs> crying. And why? Because she was so desperate. Like she really wants a baby. So she said, God, please give it to me. And she, and she prayed so long. And then she was just like, kind of like mumbling. You know, when you mumble, someone said mumble. And you can't really hear what they're saying, right? So she was praying so hard that the priest came out and said, what are you doing? You look kind of crazy. But God, did God listen to Hannah's prayer? Yes, God listened to, yes, God did. God listened to Hannah's prayer. And then God gave Hannah a baby, right? Okay, so boys and girls, and you know, Hannah was in when she was when um she oh sorry sorry God is calling me oh God God was calling me God can you can you call me again <gasps> should I should I get it okay yes uh, hello Hi, God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're in the middle of Sunday school. Yeah, and I'm talking about praying. Yeah, yeah, like talking to you. That's right. That's right. Oh, tell them. Oh, okay. Okay, I got it. I got it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I love you, God. Okay, I'll, I'll talk to you later. <gasps> That was God. He was calling me. And you know what? 
God told me he was listening to my prayers. He said that I heard your prayers and I am going to give you an answer when I want to. You know, who has, whose mommy or daddy has a cell phone? I, I think everybody does, right? So when your parents call someone and talk on the phone, like if I call your mom and I talk to her, she will hear me, right? Now, God is, so when we talk to God, it's kind of like we are talking to, uh, we're talking on the phone, okay? We, it's like we're talking on the phone. So it's very easy. When we talk to God, God can hear us. Just like if you're talking to someone on the phone. If you, what? If you call your mom on the phone or your dad on the phone, so this is kind of like calling God on the phone. When we pray, it's like calling God on the phone. And God listens to our prayers, right? Miss Michelle Gangasosama. God, when he hears your prayers, he will maybe say yes or no or what? Five? No, he will say wait. Okay. That he might tap. 神听到我们的祷告的时候，他有时候会说，yes，好，我给你，或者我就是要这样做。我有时候他说，no，I nah, don't think you need it. You know, or he's gonna say, you know what? You're gonna stay faithful and you're gonna keep on praying until God does something. Okay, just like Hannah, you know, Hannah in her life, she was, um, she was kind of sad. Okay, she was lonely. So Miss Michelle has something to show you. I have a basketball. Who plays basketball? Oh, you? Yeah. Okay. So a basketball. I'm gonna pretend this is Miss Michelle's head. Oh, oops. Sorry. Okay. I'm gonna pretend it's my brain. <laughs> okay. And sometimes we do things that are. Sinful. Sin, sister, a sin is what is not pleasing to God. God doesn't like sin. Sin is right? So sometimes my mind or I, I do actions that are sinful, okay? And um, sometimes I, <laughs> just like Hannah, very, very sad. <laughs> or oh you know like yeah hannah was kind of sad because she didn't have a baby right or sometimes you can be lonely do you know what lonely means lonely means you feel all alone nobody loves me anymore okay you might feel lonely sometimes that's what goes in your brain right sometimes you're like oh i feel lonely or sometimes you don't you're not happy right oh i didn't get that i'm so i'm not happy right or you do something bad and again sin there's all kinds of sin when you don't do something that god wants you to do or mommy says please go put that uh clean your room and you're saying ah, no later or masang, masang, and you never do it that's sin because you're not paying attention well paying attention you're not following or obeying what your mom or dad is telling you to do or you're very mad. How come my friend got that and I didn't? I don't like that. So in our lives, we have all kinds of sin, right? I do it too. And that's not good. But you know what? Do you think when you pray like this, God will listen to you? God will listen. God is perfect, right? He is like holy. So we are sinful. Do you think God will listen if you if you're not a if you're not paying attention and you're not obeying? Somebody is uh, let me think. I don't know. Well, God always listens to our prayers. Let me show you. He's kind to us. Okay. So Miss Michelle has this big paper not really big, a normal size paper that says God's kindness, okay? And let me see if God's kindness can wrap around this basketball, which is all my sin. Okay, you know what? Let me make it harder. 
sometimes we think God's love is not that big. God's kindness is not that big. He is not going to forgive me because I, I didn't listen to my mommy and daddy. Okay, let me fold this. Do you think this little paper can, uh, let me, cut, let me, you know what? Let me cut it in half. Let me tear it in half faster. Do you think this can wrap my sin away? No. Okay, let me. I'm going to make it even harder and fold it in half, crease it really hard, tear it again. Ta -da! Do you think God's kindness can wrap around all my sin? Okay, let me try. No, because I'm going to rip the paper. Well, let me show you. You know what? I'm going to ah, make it even harder. No, no, no. Oh yeah, okay. You know what? God's kindness. All my sin cover, Ma. You think God's gonna listen to my prayers? No! You said no. God is not gonna listen to me anymore because I'm so sad, I'm so lonely, and I have all this sin. You know what? This is a tiny piece of paper, and sometimes we don't listen to God. And sometimes people pray when they're doing really good and they say, oh, God is going to listen to me because I did something really good today. I helped my mommy take out the trash and I did the dishes. And I know when I pray, God is going to listen to me. But sometimes we don't listen. And today I hit my friend in the head and she was crying. And I was sinful, and I didn't do good. And I don't think God is going to hear my prayers. But God loves us so much that even if we do all of that, oh, let me try. E oh, 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 how's it pushing? How's it pushing? Hold on, hold on. Okay, let me see if God's kindness. Oh, hold on, hold on. Okay, so let me, let me, let me see. So God loves us so much and he is so kind. Oh, let me see if I can cut this. And sometimes we say, okay, I'm going to pray again. And maybe God is going to hear us. But you know what? God always hears you. No matter if you are sinful or not, which we are all sinful. We all do bad things. And we don't listen to God sometimes. And God is still going to hear us. And God's love is going to what? It's going to cover all of our sins. So, ten, 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 ten. let's see if God's goodness if god's kindness can wrap around all my sin whoa whoa god's kindness can go around all our sin and then when he does that he hears our prayers no matter what kind of sin, what kind of sadness we have, what kind of bad things we do. God, look how big this is. You know that little paper can be so big because God's kindness is like this. It is like overwhelming. It is so big that it will cover everything. So even if you don't listen, even if you make bad choices, God's kindness will cover all of that. And he hears your prayers. Okay, so boys and girls, we are going to try really hard to remember. We are talking to God. Just like when God called me on my cell phone. Okay, don't go home and try to do, 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 do. Let me see if God, yeah. The only thing you need to do, you don't even have to know God's phone number. You just close your eyes and you pray in your heart or pray out loud. And when you say, dear God or dear Jesus, da -da, that's like God's phone number and he will hear you. So let's pray. Dear God, Thank you so much for loving me. And thank you for always hearing my prayers. I know you're listening to me right now. And please help me and all the boys and girls here know that you are kind to us. 
and you love us. And when we pray, you will give us an answer, no matter if it's yes or no, or maybe, or wait. Lord, help us to remember that you love us and you know what is best for us. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That's just like calling God on the phone. We are calling him on the phone and he can hear you. Okay, boys and girls. So don't forget God loves you. Okay. And he is kind to you and he will answer your prayers. Okay, boys and girls. So Miss Michelle is going to see if you remember the Bible verse because you're going to memorize it. And I think some of you already know. So it is from Philippi. Yes. Philippians 4, 6. Oh, easy numbers. Philippians 4, 6. It says what? Do not worry. Don't worry about what? Anything. Instead, that means like, but. Instead, pray about everything. Tell who? Yes, thank you. Tell God what you need, okay? What you need, remember, not what you want. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Okay? Very good. Okay, boys and girls, don't forget to memorize your Bible verse. Hama. And don't forget, God is kind. And what? He, his kindness will what? Cover all our sin and all the things we did wrong. Okay? And all of our sadness in our heart. Okay, you got it? Okay, boys and girls, next week, 10 o'clock. Okay, chida. Okay, everybody, you can unmute yourselves. Everybody, unmute, unmute. And everybody, you can say bye to your friends. Bye. 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 Bye.